Hey guys, so quick update. Um, as you can see, I have my compound off, got a bunch of stuff going on. I went to do my first uh, chips on this thing, and, and I could have. Uh, however, I happened to notice uh, I had a lot of backlash in this, um, in both the cross slide and the um, compound. So I decided to look into it. I, I kind of knew I was going to have to deal with it, but I didn't realize how much it was. It's about, uh, oh, I'm going to say probably around 30,000. So let me see if I can give you a little indication of what it is here. So let's see. Let's get zero right there. Um, okay, so 10 thousandths. I don't know, to me, look at that right there. It seems like excessive amount. So I knew that there was some kind of an adjustment, which is right here. So on Practical Machinist, I found there's a fellow named Cal who seems to be really knowledgeable about these 10 double E's. He has lots of stuff to, that he posts on Practical Machinist about it. So what his procedure, that one that he found, I think, and then he reprinted, he basically says, you, this is the um, hex, uh, um, you know, cap screw. This is a cap screw that holds the nut to the underside of the cross light. And then this is like a, um, uh, a pin that has threads on it on the top side, just right, right under here. And what they say to do is you loosen up uh, this guy a bit, and then you crank this guy in like a quarter of a turn or so, eighth of a turn, and what it does is it pushes, it puts downward pressure on the screw to sort of cant the, uh, not the screw, but the nut, to, to cant the nut uh, to take up the backlash. And then this guy right here, this is, this uh, bolt is what locks the cross slide in place to the taper attachment, so you leave this guy loose. So, I went to do that adjustment and all I couldn't take any of the backlash out and it just uh, tight, you know, got really tight and I couldn't, uh, you know, move the uh, cross slide in and out. And then practical machinist, I saw someone had said, hey, um, my cross slide nut has a hole where this uh, pin goes through that hole and basically contacts the, the lead screw and, and, tightens it up so you can't turn it. Other people on that um, site have said, no, mine isn't like that. It's flat and I can push down on it. On mine, when I take this screw out with the pin on the bottom, it goes clear through and I can see the lead screw. So this screw isn't doing anything for me. So I'm going to replace that, uh, that uh, nut. I think the lead screw is fine. And the reason why I think it's fine is whether I'm all the way forward or all the way back, I have the same amount of backlash. So it tells me that the the uh, screw is probably fine and it's just the nut. So that's the issue that I have with the cross light. So let me take you over to the uh, compound and show you what's happening there. Okay, you see I have this uh, guy totally disassembled. So right here is the compound nut and I don't know if you can hear that, is really, really sloppy. So I probably had, oh, I'm going to say um, 25, 30 thousandths uh, slop in this, uh, this nut. Same thing, I have the same amount of slop whether I'm on this end of the lead screw or that end. So again, that makes me believe that this lead screw is fine and the problem is the nut. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, order those parts on Monday today's Saturday and uh, when we get those in I'll get this all back together and then we'll get those first uh, chips cut so I'm still on the project and I'm determined to wrap it up and and get some uh, some of my projects underway so anyway just wanted to give you guys a quick update all right guys uh, I got my quote from Monarch uh, to replace the compound nut and the nut on the uh, cross slide. So this nut right here, I don't know if you guys are sitting down, $300.
and the nut on the cross slide, which doesn't have this piece, it's just a flat block, that's $250. So $550 to replace the two nuts. Um, there's a guy on eBay that I found, I think he was looking at $198 in free shipping for both. So I just sent him a note and asked him if you know, I had a couple questions. Uh, one it was a cross slide nut uh, finished machine because uh, according to Monarch, they ship their nut out, uh, I want to say 10 or 20 thousandths uh, thick on, on the top. For, so you final machine it to the actual dimension you need for, for your particular machine. So I just want to get a question uh, answered from, from the guy on eBay. So. If any of you guys have any experience with that guy uh, on eBay, I think he's like in Kansas or Indiana, um, some, somewhere out in the Midwest. Uh, I'd like to know if, what your experiences have been with, with his, uh, you know, remanufactured or manufactured um, lead screw nuts. Because, uh, yeah, that <laughs> Monarch price is pretty pricey. So, uh, but you know what? I'm going to replace them. I've gone this far, I might as well. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Guys, here's the uh, story of these machines coming to my place. So this is at the uh, IBM factory. There's a 30-inch uh, just outside the uh, machine shop that, uh, where these have been sitting for about 25 years. See the 30-inch um, on a, a, Ford, a pallet jack getting ready to come. There's a 30 on the loading dock, getting ready to be placed on the flatbed. And then let's see, this next picture is the 20 and the 30 on the flatbed as they're getting ready to take it up to uh, to my shop, which is about an hour away from, from here. And there's the subject of this series, the 20 inch before I started on it, another shot of the 20 before I started on it. And then this last shot is both of those uh, both of those machines together. Thought you might like to see what they looked like before.